Good morning. So I've got another half an hour or so um, before I start work. Um, so I'd have another crack at doing the Debian packaging for Snippet Expander. Um, so since last time, um, I have updated Snippet Expander a fraction by switching um, to a single top level go mod file. So you can see I removed all the go mods and sums from their uh, sub uh, sub directories. Um, and then I've created um, a new one. Where is it not showing them? Strange. Oh, it's there. It's moved. Okay. Um, so uh, I need to give it a quick test as is on Debian, make sure it's okay. Um, and then I want to check, well, I want to finish off getting rid of the warnings we had when we were building the .deb file. So uh, let's do a make clean and make clean all and then just to make well, that's promising and quick nothing to do on the in the package internals now That was successful for Snip Expander, Daemon. Uh, the GUI is ongoing. And then the Expander is a Vala project anyway. That's fine. Okay. test. Okay, it's looking good. Just wait for that to finish. If it's taken so long, it's probably good. Okay, right then, uh, so let's do a make deb, which is going to run through the same stuff. Doing the downloads into its own little directory, all the go dependencies. And during this, we should hit a couple of warnings on the linter. But there's also uh, one of the tests isn't running because in the little Chirrut environment that's created for this, there's no um, X process. And so I need to use XV FB the X virtual frame buffer. So that's, I think that'd be my first task. While that's running, I'll just have a quick look at the uh, Debian. Stop using V. Uh, right, so XVFB. Yeah, so I just need to run XVFB run make test. Okay. 
So I need to work out how to do that in this thing here. It's just gone. This is the problem here. It's doing a go test and it doesn't know about X in the process it's running. So what's kicking that off? DH auto test. Okay. That sounds like the hook because the everything else is just finished. Right, and here's the warnings I want to look at as well. So we have, and this is just from the linter. This doesn't actually stop it from working, but um, the kind of little things need to clean up. So I'll have a look at them in a minute. So, oh, hold on, let's bump up the size a little bit. There we go. Right, sorry about that. Um, right. So, XVFB, I won't have that, will I? Which uh, XVFB, just double check, does it need does it run? No, okay, right, so I need to add that to this environment. Um, so in this little thing, whoops, update common Debian dev. I'll do it down here with this stuff here. So I'm going to add an XVFB. XV, FB, and I'll do run as the command, because that's what I need. And if that's not here, then we want the XV, FB package. That is right, isn't it? Let me just quickly... Um, XVFB. So which XVFB is it? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let's run update. Oh, some things to be updated. Okay. I'll let them do their things while we're making sure everything's up to date. Okay. And that's sex FB. So which XVFB? Yeah, I'm glad I did the uh, run. Yeah, cool. All right, I'll scroll that away. and sound for next time I spin up a Debian environment. Okay, so in theory, that's fixed that now. Because that takes a little while, let's 
look at those um some of those warnings before we do another run so copyright without copyright notice pretty sure there's a copyright um debug file with no debug symbols not sure what that's about i'm not doing any debug extended description line too long line one and two Okay, and hardening no pie. Right, well, let's look at the copyright and the extended things, because I reckon they're in the main control. They're easy, I think, hopefully, to fix um, before we do a next build. So if I look at Debian control, uh, and let's use Vim, because I haven't set up a later version of the OVM on here. Uh, so, oh, right, so that's going to be the descriptions. That is long, isn't it? What is that? 99, okay. What's the bet in? It's looking for like 80 or something. 72, 74. Um... 79. Let's try that out. We'll do this. Um, and then on here we'll do the same. So we're at 73 there. I can probably break this one a little bit nicer at that. Now that is still long. 85. But that's too long. Let's do that. Okay, so when that's like this, it looks a little bit better. Actually, I could neat that, neaten that up. And we know for sure we'll be under 80 then, so if I do that. Okay. What are we at? Uh, 74, okay. Well, we'll try that. And then the copyright. Uh, right, I'll just keep it for a second. Copyright DN engines. Well, it's there. But it doesn't have a date on it. I bet that's what it is. Uh, when did I start this project? Well, technically, code from this dates back to. 2018 so I'll do that now, it wasn't much later that I switched to doing the, the rebuild what was that 20 but yeah 2018 has code in it that I wrote and I'm keeping that copyright all right um, Let's leave it as big for a moment. So let's see what happens. Actually, can I just run Lintium? Oh, I need to build it first. Nah, I'll just do it. Make it. Let's see what happens. So we're looking out for two things here. One that the Tests don't complain about XVFB. Well, X. Uh, the copyright notice and the Lintian should go. And hopefully the two line length. Um, and then we can have a little look to see what the deal is with the others. It'll not take a while when it has to grab all the dependencies. I wonder if there's a way of telling it to 
cash into him. Stuff. Like, don't clean the cash. If it's there. Okay, it's testing now. Oh, we did complain. Oh, I didn't put anything in to actually use it. Oh, okay. Uh, right, what did I say was DH auto test. Okay. Right, quickly just check the LinkedIn stuff. Okay, that's shorter. So, yep, copyright's gone. Line lengths are gone. That's good. Okay, right, let's look at it rules. See if there's something I can do there. And I'll just keep it. Uh, so, I bet I can do this. So, I'll take two lines. And then we'll do that here. So it was auto test. Um, and so I need to use XVFB run make test. And that should basically match what I do in the CICD. We'll see what happens there. And while that's running, um, let's have a quick look at the last few things here. Debug file with no debug symbols and hardening no pi. Is there a man page for Lintium? Does it have any rules in it? Suppress the list of tags. They will not be reported if they occur and will not affect fixes. This option can be given multiple times and can be mixed with suppressed tags on the file. Okay. Right, just check this then. Didn't even look. Uh, what are we doing here? 
that's the install tests pass and no complaining that's good okay uh, right uh, on here don't know Hmm, don't tell me easily where to find stuff. Okay, can I just do Lintian? Okay, that's handy. Um, now, I really don't care about that. So can I um, do is it a tool? Is it a tag? Ignore tags. Maybe not. Suppress. Okay, so if I can find a way of um, passing that in, that would be handy for that one because that's I'm never going to do that. Uh, not on this file. And then higher right, we've got debug file with no use symbols. Um, right, so before we go any further. Suppress all informational messages, including override comments. Okay. What I'm looking for is if there's just like a file I can put in. By default, without having to do any overridey type stuff.
So the suppress tags from file is fine, but I'd rather just do it in a standard way as such. for the project. Okay. We have package in there by package. Take in. All right, so I should be able to do Debian source Lintian overrides. But it's not telling me what the format is. It's a uh, Lintian user manual. Let's see what that is. I can find it. That's not helpful. Oh dear. Great. Create an override with DH Lintian, okay. What's the format? That's just back to what I was in.
Oh, this will be interesting. Intian explain tags. Hmm. Okay. I'm just going to try something out. I'm just going to... Um, let's think. I definitely want that. So can I do Intian rights? Let's just assume I could do something like And then I'll go look further. Um, okay. That did not work. So, Intune overrides Debian source. Although, it might need to be part of that. Going on. Something funny is going on with Firefox here. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Lintian overrides format. Yeah, you say that, but I yeah, not there.
not being helpful Debian source Ah, okay. Try that. Might need a colon there, but we'll try it there as is. No, try again with a colon. No, try with spaces. Not sure it's working at all. Okay, I'm going to do it then. Is I'll put that back to be like that. I'll leave the code on, and then I will run. Uh, but we'll see if it complains then it might need to load it up dh linting see what happens and then i'll have to stop i guess
Okay. Oh, it might be. So package name type. And then rule basically the tag and content. Okay, so let's try that again. So So we have snippet expand uh, binary. Suppress tags, initial upload closes, no bugs. Let's just see if it all work as is. No. Before I do another test there, let's do source because it kind of is. No. We are running the binary. So uh, let's do a make deb and see if it picks it up then. Hmm. Okay. Right, you don't actually have to say binary. Interesting. Right, so that didn't work. It's a little annoying.
Lint it overrides. It is. Lintian overrides. Hmm. Okay, one last little go then. We'll take that out. Snippet expander. Suppress tags. Initial upload closes no bugs. Okay. Let's do the build. Only this existed. Been there, done that. Okay. No. No way. I mean, it's no biggie, but... Just a little bit annoying. And I didn't look at the others anyway. So I'll finish that off just now. Um, I'm going to, what we're going to do, I will commit this stuff here, the control copyright rules, not the Lintian overrides because that's clearly not working. Um, Debian package test.
Right, and I did do that as well, so we're good there. All right, um, I will close that down. And that'll be me. So I need to see if I can find out why I can't override those warnings, because there's one there that I clearly can't, I can't do anything with. I think the debug one is probably not for me either. Um, but I do need to research the the pi one, whatever that is, just see what that is. Um, so I'll do a little bit of homework on them and see if there's anything I can do there. Um, but um, thanks for watching, um, and until next time, take care. Bye.